This video is to demonstrate these car sunshades. These particular shades are the car shades brand. The shades on the website are various brands, so this video is only applicable to this particular brand. The shades themselves are made of a sturdy mesh and they're mounted on a on a steel frame. And you can you can see there's a bit of flexibility, but it, it's quite solid and quite sturdy. And the a set of these shades normally include all windows behind the back seats unless said otherwise so normally that's the rear doors uh, the rear quarter windows which are the small windows behind the rear doors if they are any on the car and the the rear windscreen windshield what you want to call it or the rear tailgate or, or hatch window um, the tailgate or hatch window as you see later in the video is in two pieces so we we have two shades for that window but I'll explain that a little bit later on. So the first shade that we're going to fit is this particular one. This is a door shade. Um, I've selected a, a Ford C-Max here, um, but most shades fit in a very similar sort of way. You need to be aware that the fittings do vary from car to car. They use slightly different clips and slightly different methods of fitting. But this video is uh, designed to give you an example of common fitting methods. This is a door shade, and I'm going to demonstrate how to fit the, uh, the rear door shade. First of all, the, the tabs here with the car shades brand on have to go inside the car. The tabs are used for pulling the shade away from the window if you want to remove it. The shades on this particular car use these types of metal clips. They're small metal clips which attach to the edge of the frame and the flat part will slot behind the trim. These are the most common type of clips used on car shades. There's two or three different sizes of this type of clip. Um, in fact, there's, uh, there's three different sizes and there's three different depths. So there's, six, there's, a, there's a, uh, about six different types of these clips. But then there's also other clips of a different design. Remember, it depends on your car as to exactly which clips it use, where they fit on, and how to fit. So be sure to follow the fitting instructions. Don't try to fit them unless you've actually followed the fitting instructions because you'll probably get it wrong. Now, as I say, I'm using these because these are the most common type of clip. And as you can see, this one I've fitted already. It's clipped onto the edge of the shade. And I'm gonna clip this one on. Now, one thing to bear in mind, they're gonna be pretty tight when you first put them on. So you have gotta press it on quite hard. I've always had this one on two or three times, so it's uh, it's a little bit easier once you've done that because it opens it up. Um, so the, the clip is on. Now this, this car we're going to fit them onto is a little bit different from a lot of cars because we haven't fit them from the outside. The vast majority of cars you fit them from the inside. But this is, a, as I say, it's a little bit different but the principle is still the same. So I'm going to take the shade, making sure that the tab is on the inside of the car. And the clips are this way around. The flat part of the clips, when you're fitting them, should always be facing away from you. So if you were fitting this shade from the inside of the car, then again, the flat parts need to be facing away from you. So on this particular car, all we do is we slot the shade in, in the gap between the, the window. And this is the critical part here, because whether you're fitting from the outside or the inside, this works the same way. You need to bend the shade down and the flat part of the clips need to slide up under whatever trim you've got on your particular car. So I'll do that again because you, you can see you can you can bend this shade. Don't bend it too much. One of the key things when fitting shades, do not force them to cause the bend, to turn the bend into a crease because you'll damage them. It invalidates the warranty and it destroys the shade. You can do this with them but don't do it more than you need to. If you've got to really start forcing it, then you've got to think, are you fitting this the wrong way? Email us for some sort of advice if that happens. So once again, I'll just pull these down and then push them underneath the trim. And there you go, it's as simple as that. So it's fairly easy to fit the door shades. They all fit in a similar way. Um, just some other examples of different clips that we've got. Um, there's for cars that don't have a piece of trim, there's an adhesive clip here. You can see the shade slots into that. There's a 3M tape backing, which attaches to the trim inside the car. Um, there's a right angle version of that as well, which I had and I've just lost one, whatever it is. There's a right angle version of it here. 
So the, the, the principle is the same, but it sticks in a slightly different way. Um, and then there's another clip. Now this clip here, I'm going to uh, show you an image here of how this clip fits. Um, first of all, this thin bit slides onto a piece of metal trim underneath the rubber around the door. And then when it's on, this bit sticks out and the shade fits into there. I'm going to show you an image now that shows you exactly how that fits. And I can email this to you if you buy some shades with this particular type of uh, clip, then I can email you this image. So that's the door shades, that's how they fit. All right, we're going to fit this quarter shade now. Now, some quarter shades use a clip, like this one here. Other ones don't have any clips and you just simply slot straight in. Uh, this clip is very similar to the one you saw on the door shade. The difference is that it's slightly shorter. Um, as I said, there was several different depths and several different lengths of these clips, depending on which car they're going and where they're going. But it fits on the same way, you just simply push it on to the edge of the frame. So all we have to do with this quarter shade is we'll slot the back part of it in. Now the clip is here. These clips are quite sharp. Make sure the clip doesn't scrape across the trim because it'll put a mark on your trim. So what you've got to do, you've got to bend the shade as you push it in to push the clip away from the trim and let it slot in once it's in position. It's as easy as that. That shade will stay there forever. It'll never go anywhere. If you do want to remove it, use the tab. But remember to push that clip away from the trim again when you remove the shade so it doesn't cause any damage to the trim. Right, now we're going to fit the rear hatch or rear tailgate shades to this car. Um, but as I said before, the rear shades, the rear window, um, tailgate hatch, windscreen, windshield, whatever you want to call it, is always in two pieces. The shades are quite rigid, so it makes it easier to fit with them being in two pieces rather than a single piece. And also it makes the package smaller, which reduces shipping charges. And this particular one, it uses two of the same type of clips that we used on the door shades, which I've already attached on. Uh, remember the car shades tab stays inside the car and the flat part of the clip is always facing away from you when you're fitting them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit them now. I just need to slide the shade into position. Now, remember when I did the quarter shade, what I said about these clips touching the trim, make sure the clips don't touch the trim. So you're going to have to push the shade up and push them away from the trim like that. I'm holding that. Now, if in position, whether it's going to slide behind the trim, sometimes you've got to maneuver them around a little bit and the shade needs to be pushed as far over to the outer side as you can get it. Now, that clip's not seating properly, so I just need to push it in a little bit. Sometimes with shade, you need to manipulate it a little bit. Maybe if things are not sitting quite right, move the clip somewhere else. Uh, try it in a different position to get your best fit. Um, that's pretty good. The shade is as far over as you can get it. And it looks right. So what I need to do is to fit the other shade in the same sort of way. Now, sometimes what you might find is with already having one shade in position, it makes it harder fitting the second shade. Um, then again, it's a process of manipulation and trial and error until you get it right. This one should be fairly easy. We're doing the same again if we did on the other side. Push these clips away from the trim like that. And then push the shade as far over to the side as you can get it. And that's the shade fitted. So as you can see, you have the rear door, the rear uh, windshield shades in place, and the car is now ready to go with the shades in place. Answer a couple of questions. One of the questions I often get asked is, are these good for keeping bugs out of the car? Um, we've never had a chance to try it. We're in the UK, we don't have too many bugs here. Certainly keep the bigger bugs out of the car. Mosquitoes? Yeah, I would think it probably would. The holes are pretty small in the shades uh, and I've had a few people buy them specifically with the idea of keeping bugs out of the car and they seem to work for that purpose. I'm also asked, can you see outside the car uh, when you're driving? Yes, you can see through them. It might take you a little bit of time to get used to it. It's difficult to show what the visibility is like on a video, but 
uh, when you're looking in your rear view mirror, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but after two or three days, you forget you're there. In terms of how much sun to block, they block around about 65% of light. So they do provide quite a lot of shade. They do reduce the UV rays, they reduce the temperature inside the car as well. So they, they're great for that. Um, as I said, this is the Car Shades brand. They are really, really good quality. They'll last for years. They don't fade. Um, there's, there's virtually nothing happens with them. I've been selling them for years and I don't have anybody coming back from these sort of three or four years down the line since something's happened to them. Uh, one thing not to do, especially with the rear door shades, don't wind the window down more than say halfway, especially at sort of highway, motorway speeds, because the shade can get sucked out. And we often do get emails from people saying, oh, I've lost one shade, I don't know where it went. But remember, don't take that window too far down because you could lose them. If you look at another brand of shades on the website, this video probably isn't applicable to them because every different brand fits in a slightly different way with different types of clips. Um, bear in mind, your car might be different in terms of the clips that you use on the car shades for your car or in the way they fit, but this video is designed to give you some sort of an idea as to exactly what type of clips you use, the principle of the clipping, the, the, the fitting of the clips and, and how the shades go on.